Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, today, I wanted to show um, just a couple of DVDs that I got recently from Goodwill. I recently went to Goodwill, which is a thrift store. If you don't know, like, you probably know. Like, who doesn't know that? Goodwill. Anyways. Um, these are all 99 cents, obviously. Every DVD at Goodwill is 99 cents. But this first one is... One of the Paranormal Activity movies, Paranormal Activity, the Marked Ones. Now, uh, I uh, actually stated stated once before in my 200 subscriber special video when I said, like, all about me. I said Paranormal Activity was my favorite, like, horror film franchise. So, um, before I got this one, I had the first Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, and then the most recent one, Paranormal Activity, and I still can only had those two, but... I found this one, the marked ones, at, um, I go out, uh, today, actually. Um, I'm probably not gonna, like, post this on, on the same day that I'm filming it, because I just, uh, posted a Wiggles DVD collection video today, so, yeah, anyways. This, uh, this one's probably one of the more weaker ones, apparently, like, to these series, to be perfectly honest, but still a really fun movie, I enjoy it. And I feel like all the Paranormal Activity movies have different vibes, so. The scariest paranormal yet, says Steve Barton of Dread Central. No special features or anything, but, yeah. There's the inside, Eco Fox case, as you can see, and then there's the disc. It says feature film, uh, theatrical version, so, uh. Yeah, it doesn't include, like, the unread version or anything, but, um, fun fact, um, and, the uh, and the Paranormal Activity movie that came out before this one, Paranormal Activity 4, um, sorry if you hear my mom talking downstairs, she's talking on the phone, um, anyways, um, as I was saying, fun fact, and the Paranormal Activity movie that came out before this one, Paranormal Activity 4, like, when Paranormal Activity 4 originally came out in theaters, um, there was a little scene, like, after the credits of Paranormal Activity 4 that kind of, like, teased this Paranormal Activity movie, so, fun fact, if you didn't know that already. This next one is really cool. This is the Rugrats 3 movie collection on Blu-ray, um, but as you can see, there's a little note here. It says, only two included Rugrats in Paris a movie and Rugrats Go Wild, but it is new. It says, I bought them, brand new, so whoever had this before me, I guess like wrote this little note and they thought that Rugrats in Paris was called Rugrats Go to Paris. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is really a Rugrats 2 movie collection. It's, it's missing the first Rugrats movie for some reason, so, um, obviously everything I could believe is used, so if someone had this before me and like wrote this note and stuff, so I don't, I don't know if like whoever had this before me like only really liked the the first Rugrats movie and, and didn't really like Rugrats in Paris or Rugrats Go Wild. Um, so, so, my dad decided to, I guess, like, take the first Rugrats movie out of this and, like, keep it for themselves and, like, donate the other two. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so the original Rugrats movie has one special feature, a bonus cat dog short wind blows documentary. Uh, again, the first Rugrats movie isn't included in here because it says only the Rugrats in Paris and Rugrats go wild around here. And then, for the features on Rugrats in Paris, the movie included Rugrats in Paris documentary, alternate endings, and Baja main music video, Who Let the Dogs Out. And for the features on Rugrats Go Wild, include lead scenes, outtake, alternate ending, and behind the scenes featurette right there. You can read special features if you want to, even though I just read them. And then, here's the discs. And I actually looked it up on Amazon. This uh, three movie collection is actually twenty one dollars, so I got it for only ninety nine cents. It's a really good deal. So there's uh, Rugrats in Paris the movie, and Rugrats Go Wild. And you know, like I said, this doesn't have the first Rugrats movie in it. Only the Rugrats in Paris and Rugrats Go Wild for for some reason. Um, yeah, originally, obviously, it's had the first Rugrats movie in it, because it's called the Rugrats 3 movie collection, but, um, I don't, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if 
like the person who had this before me, like before they donated to Kibble, the person that has it before me, they only like the first Rogas movie, so they wanted to like just keep the first Rogas movie for themselves and then donate to the Rogas and Pairs when Rogas got wild. Or maybe they like lost to the um, disc for the first Rogas movie or something. I don't know. I don't know why only two of them are in here. Okay, just wanted to check because it sounded like they were really rapping with this disc. Anyways. Um, and then this one is uh, really cool. This is Kim Possible, the complete second season. This is actually factory sealed when I found it. It wasn't used. Um, so, and, uh, and this one I looked up on Amazon as well. This one's like $44. So factory sealed, Kim Possible, the complete second season for only 99 cents. Which is really cool. I mean, I've never really been a huge Kim Possible fan. I've only seen a couple of episodes. Um, it's a cool show. It's cool to have a full season for only 99 cents factory sealed, like I said. Um, but, uh, yeah, no special features or anything. Just the, all 30 episodes in the second season. Um, episodes 1 through 3 from the Disney Channel Hit series, as it says on the front here. And actually says on the back here, this is a Disney Movie Club exclusive. It says on the top there. And then down here, Disney exclusive straight from the Disney Movie Archives. Magical Memories straight from Disney Movie Archives. Uh, it actually says, uh, right there, not available in stores. So, I think when this originally came out, it, um, it was, like, exclusively an online thing, like, on Disney Movie Club Rewards, like, website. Um, so, um... Yeah, it was really cool to find this in, like, an actual store, because, um, yeah, because, uh, Disney Movie Club exclusive stuff, like, this is really only available online, so it's really cool to be able to find this in an actual store. Um, I don't really have any, uh, any other Disney Movie Club exclusive stuff besides, um, I think for, like, um, when I graduated high school, like, last year, I got a Disney Movie Club exclusive DVD, it was, like, Wizards of Early Face Wizards vs. Vampires. I think I've shown that one or two videos before, but anyways. Here is the case for disc one. All the discs are in separate cases, so there's an episode list there if you want to read it. Um, <coughs> yeah. And here's the case, it's not Nico Moss case, it's just a stronger case than Nico Moss case, so the, the discs are just plain gray, as you can see. Um, it would have been a better packaging style if they had just put all the discs into one case instead of uh, putting all of them into separate cases, that's not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, not, not a big deal, it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. Also, it comes with this, like, Disney Movie Rewards code insert. I already used the code, so, um, it won't work if you, if you, uh, try and enter the code into the Disney Movie Insiders app, it, it uh, won't work because I already used it, so sorry. Uh, slide this back in here. Okay, next up is this is disc two. Right there. And you can read the episodes if you want there. This, um, this disc actually has a three-part stitch in time, which is really cool, like present, past, and future, it's really cool to have that. Um, and there's the disc. All the discs basically look the same, except, you know, obviously the numbers are different. One says disc one, one says disc two, one says disc three, all that. Anyways. And then that, last but not least is disc three, right there. And there's the disc there. Again, I'm just playing gray. Oh no, I forgot. There's the episode list for disc three as well. Um. Anyways, that is basically it. I just wanted to show just uh, three new DVDs that I got from Goodwill today. Like I said, I'm probably not going to uh, post this video on the same day I'm filming it because I already posted a Wiggle DVD collection video today, so don't really want to post two videos in one day, so anyways. Um, well, 
technically Rugrats 3 movie collection or 2 movie collection. Like I said, it doesn't have the first Rugrats movie in it. It's technically this is Rugrats 2 movie collection. Um, like this, um, this is technically a Blu-ray, not a regular DVD. So one Blu-ray and two DVDs. But yeah, I just wanted to show these DVDs and Blu-rays I got from Goodwill today. Um, and yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. So that's basically it for this video. And I'll see you all in the next video.